Hi there, I'm Simon at Serif. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Blend Tool in Draw Plus. The Blend Tool is a really powerful and versatile tool. It can be used to create some really great effects, and I'm going to demonstrate a few popular techniques. I'm going to start by showing you how the Blend Tool can be used to create a background for your documents. To save time, I've created three quick shape squares and coloured each square differently. I'm now going to select the Blend Tool and blend the left square into the centre. The resultant blend is achieved in six steps, but I like the graduation to be a bit more subtle, so I'm going to increase the number of steps involved until it looks a whole lot smoother. I'll now complete the base of the background by blending the middle square with the one on the right. Draw Plus remembers the number of steps you used last. I'm really happy with the results, but since the object is composed of two blends, I need to merge them together before I can do any resizing. Go up to the main toolbar, select Tools, followed by Convert Blend to Group. I can now resize my blended object to the dimensions of the page. In this video, I'm concentrating on the cool linear and shape effects that can be achieved with the Blend tool. But if you want to learn more about blending colours, I've created an accompanying video, so be sure to check it out. With the Blend tool, you can create some really eye-catching effects just by using lines. I'm going to show you a few simple but effective techniques. I'll start by selecting the Straight Line tool and drawing a simple line on the page. I'm quickly going to clone it and use the Blend tool to merge both lines together. The number of blend steps has made the result look quite solid, so I'm going to reduce this down to just several lines. Blending also works well using custom draw lines. Try using the pen tool to draw a series of curves and blend one path into another. Once again, you can adjust the number of blend steps until you discover a design that you prefer. Experiment by drawing and blending many different types of curves. I'm going to create an abstract background for my document. I'll finish by stretching and cropping it to fit the page. That's looking good. Next up, I want to show you how easy it is to create stylish effects using ordinary shapes. I'm drawing a quick ellipse, creating a copy, and reducing its height by about half. Use the Blend tool to merge both shapes. Draw Plus from version X5 onwards supports the ability to customise the path of a blend. I'm going to make this object look like a spring by using the Node tool to adjust the path of the blend. And here's another example using stars. I'd like to finish this demonstration by showing you another great effect you can achieve by rotating objects. I'm drawing an ellipse and rotating a copy of the same shape around its centre. Try rotating objects to different degrees to achieve a host of contrasting effects. So that just about concludes this short video on the power of Droplus's Blend Tool. Try these tips yourself, and if you create an effect you're particularly pleased with, do get in touch and let us know. And don't forget, if you're interested in learning about how to use the Blend Tool to create colour blends, be sure to check out the accompanying video in this series. Thanks for watching.